Oh, <laughs> well, hi, honey. Hey, Mom. Thanks for picking up. Of course I picked up. Why wouldn't I? Our conversation last week got pretty intense. Wow. Which part? You screaming at me or telling me I was going to die and then hanging up? I know. I, uh, I totally lost it. I'm sorry. No, that's okay. If anything, I should be thanking you. Why? After our talk, I sat with things and I came to the conclusion that you were right. Really? You sound surprised. It's just you've never said that to me before, like ever. Well, the point is I realized I wasn't taking this as seriously as I should have been. So now I'm taking every precaution. That's amazing, Mom. Mm -hmm. I'm so relieved to hear that. What, what are you doing to stay safe? Oh, you know, all the things. <laughs> okay. Could you be a bit more specific? Well, I'm not going to art class. Or out to dinner, not taking my nightly walk with the girls. Are you still letting the pool guy into the house? Well, I wasn't letting him into the house. He just came in sometimes for iced tea. And, and did you go to that golf tournament? What golf tournament? This past weekend, the one you were planning on going to with Jeannie. Well, if I'm not going to art class or out to dinner, why would I have gone to a golf tournament with Jeannie? I don't know, Mom. You were the one who was having Jeannie and her husband and her nephews over for chicken curry. Well, the only reason the nephews were coming over was because their flight back to Dallas got canceled. Oh, I'm just making sure you're staying safe. Well, I am. I never leave the house. When I go out, I always carry hand sanitizer and wear gloves and a mask. You do realize what you just said makes no sense whatsoever, well, right? I meant when I go out to get essentials like groceries and gas. Great. And when you do that, you're socially distancing? Yes. No. Uh, what do you mean? Uh, you have to stand at least six feet apart from everyone else. Even if I'm wearing a mask? Yes. Even if they're wearing a mask, too? Mom! Well, I'm just saying, if we're both wearing a mask, standing six feet apart seems like overkill. No, that's the entire point. Well... What if I'm in the grocery store, walking down an aisle, and there's someone coming the other direction, and the aisle isn't six feet wide? I don't know, Mom. You exit the aisle. So I have to defer? Mom! I'm just saying, if I'm always deferring, how am I supposed to get anything done? How do you not understand how dire the situation is? The British Prime Minister had it, and, and he was in the ICU. Fine. No matter where I am, I'll always stand at least six feet away from everyone and constantly defer. Happy? Why are you getting so defensive? Well, I'm tired of people on my ass. People are on your ass because they care about you. If I didn't, I'd tell you to kick, lick the countertops. Well, I understand that, but you have to trust me when I say I get it and I'm being safe, okay? Okay. Good. Thank you. I hope you're not dying of boredom down there. Oh, I'm not. Actually, I'm keeping myself quite busy. <laughs> I'm painting, doing my blog about the Apostle Paul, and at the moment, I'm just making this lunch. Us? Bruce and I. Your boyfriend? Didn't I tell you he was flying in? <clears throat> 